we are out here on the end getting real close but uh this is a uh, uh, i got an amphitheater here which is pretty cool i guess they, i don't know what they do in their presentation but probably got a big fourth of july celebration here i would imagine <laughs> there's lots of different and then you walk straight on down that way there and that's your entryway everything here is free however you gotta pay to park anyway what else can we get into downstairs lower level you can still see the mountain but they've got a big museum exhibit talks about the construction tells you how big everything is and all that good stuff the meaning of Mount Rushmore nice <coughs> it's cool down the side exactly how it was constructed with using plums and levels the protractor angle, as well as the position and cool length stuff. of the plumb line, were all recorded. Well, now we are out here at the Full Throttle Saloon. It's got this thing. Um, from ground to top, like right about he, here is about six feet. So you can know how tall it is. It's, it's pretty good size. We got another one down that way. And we got some gift shops there. We're gonna walk through some gift shops, and of course, go into the uh, main saloon. There. Maybe we'll get something to eat. Maybe we won't. There's another one down there on the other side of the 18 wheeler. We're of course here in May, so it's not all that busy, but uh, looks pretty cool. So here's another one. That's pretty cool. That's actually got the full throttle logo on the side. Arlen Ness. This other one here is a uh, memory of Evil Knievel. We all know, if you know Evil Knievel, he actually rode a Harley-Davidson. He did all those jumps. Got a Harley-Davidson dealer way back there. I guess it's a dealership. I don't know what all this stuff is. We're going to go and check it out a little bit. Brought it here. It's only been here. Oh, the, look at the patina on this. This is actually metal. Um, this has uh, been here since 2016 is when they bought this area here. They got 700 acres here. The full throttle was downtown in Sturgis, but it was only about 40 acres. So they outgrew it pretty fast. So I can find my wife. We're inside here in Full Throttle Saloon. Of course, this place is going to fill up and this is a really cool bar though. I mean, look at this place. I think I'm showing it to you now because when it gets in here and gets loud, you won't be able to hear anything or see anything because everybody be in front of it. Check out this thing. This is the bar. See that? That's a hole. This is not, this has not been lack. A lot of times you see bars like this, it's got a sheet of lacquer on it. Everything's sealed in the These are, these are holes. <laughs> I, could, I could put my hand down in there. <laughs> really cool. You lose an ink pen or a contact. <laughs> I like it though. Cool, lots of character to it. Look at that thing, it's huge. That big mechanical piece there, probably came off a steamboat or something. Just the one I wanted to drink, but they're not serving food just yet. They've done a lot of good things with some metal work, that's for sure. And this bar goes all the way around. <laughs> the press. Wow, that's a car right there. I didn't even see that when I walked in. It's a little rat rod. That's pretty cool. I like that. I got a bus. So like, yeah, sure, go in and take some video. And it's just a beautiful view out there. You probably see that out that way. Here's another bar. It's a tow truck. Full-size tow truck. <laughs> This bar is a little more calm. It's a little cool out here today. It's about 64. We'll go on to the t-shirt shop and we'll check this out. Yes, that's our Freightliner. 18-wheeler. I think Ford makes Freightliner. Wow. It's 
place will fill up in just a few months. Actually, later in the day, it's going to get a few more people. We'll dip, we're, we're about noon. We're doing lunch here. Well, not here, but in the area. Cool. Full throttle saloon. So we are now in the uh, full throttle saloon t-shirt shop. And they've got a bunch. I've never seen. This is like a Disney. Yeah, Disney's got t-shirt shops. They've got more t-shirts in here than any place I've ever seen in my entire life. That are that are geared toward one thing. They're all geared toward full throttle. I mean, you can find t-shirt shops that have stuff, but but they, they're all over the place. You know, some are beachy, some are not. You know, some are this, that, and that. This, these are all full throttle. It's amazing how many different different styles that they have here. Wow. I have the privilege of sharing my American story with you. All four of my grandparents executed so their dreams talk here. when they came they to America this, uh, every in day, the day, seven days a week from here on out. Two and then what they'll do is they'll do the lighting ceremony on Mount Rushmore. From the British Isles. People here, though. They traveled as teenagers in steerage class by themselves. Each had heard that America offered liberty. We're sitting inside because it's cold right here right now. Here's my wife. Not available. Did you see it? Did you see it? Did you see everything? I did. <laughs> see, it's way, it looks like it's floating in space, like it's the moon or something. But it's just so dark out there. It's pitch dark out there. And we got the light near the elevator. It's pretty cool. Anyway, you should be here too. Well, here's an angle of Devil's Tower that you may not have ever seen. This is a side. It's got like a little, like a little curve right there. Interesting. Most, most people take pictures from this side and they're on that side of it, facing this way. But yeah, this is a busy little road. But uh, it's kind of cool in it. Let me see if I can zoom in on you. Oh, wow, I can't zoom in on here. I'll, I'll, turn, I'll turn this thing around with a zoom. Look at the beautiful blue sky. It's just, what a magnificent day. I think it's 71 out here. Perfect in May. You know you should be here too. It's, uh near the campground and uh, basically the parking. It's a great place to take a lunch, let me tell you. It's like all over here. They got a piece of art here. Really cool. Man, just can't quit staring at it. I guess I didn't say it before, it's uh, 1,200 feet up from here. The elevation is uh, just over a mile, so it's like 5,000 some odd. Really cool.